What's up, everybody, and welcome into another Jihao Tech Tip, where we're going to talk about how to add a chat box to your stream, and for those of you that want it, to make sure it's transparent. So we're going to go through the steps to get you there and get you going in no time to get that chat appearing on your stream. So let's get into it. First things first, you'll go to Streamlabs so you can log in depending on what you're streaming with. You'd click here, you'd link your account. Let's say it's Twitch or wherever you're going. You can log in and make sure and link your account. That's step number one, no matter what you're using, you log into Streamlabs and boom, you're ready to go. All right, next up, you're going to go to the left side of your screen and you're gonna see all widgets. When you click on all widgets, you'll be taken to this screen. Now there's a lot of different stuff and I have other videos that cover a lot of these for getting that set up. But here at the top, you're gonna to see chat box being one of the main ones. So you'll click on chat box, it'll take you to this next window, and here's where you can set stuff up. As you can see, this is kind of a preview that they've got going on here, but let's go through the steps on how all of this works. Now the preview here, it's dynamic, so all the changes that you make can go through here. And first it starts with the theme. If you like the transparent Twitch chat, then you can leave the background color where it's at, which we'll get into in a second. You can select Twitch. Now, if you like more of a boxed background with a background on it, you can see that this is exactly what it looks like. But for a lot of people, it depends on what you want and what you're trying to accomplish. For me, I actually do use boxed because of the setup that I have, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But if you wanna put this over maybe your gameplay or wherever it's at, you can set it to Twitch, and therefore it's more of a clean feed that's got nothing behind it. There's a couple of different things that you can do. And right now this is just showing so that there is a background. You can see, note this background colors for preview purposes only. It will not be shown in your streaming software. All right, so you can pick whichever one that you want. You can go through, you can see what all the different ones look like and how you wanna set it up. Right now, we'll just leave it to Twitch for now. Now, the other thing is, is what badges do you want it to show? And for what it's worth, I don't think that you necessarily need to show all of that. It can be a little cluttered. Everybody's got it there. And it just shows a clean feed of the names. But you can customize this to however you want, whether it shows the bit badges, whether it shows the Twitch Prime badges, the subscriber badges. The subscriber badges is the one that I normally keep on. It indicates so that people have that icon there. They know who these subs are. But you can change this according to however you want. Now, for fun, for those of you that aren't, using these already better ttv and frankers all have different custom emotes that you can add to your channel and there's different ways to do that which we won't get into now but if you have those on your channel and you want them to show up in the chat instead of just the line of text you can actually enable those here so you can enable better ttv emotes and enable the frankers if you're not familiar with those go out and search those i'm not going to get into it here all right next up the background color if you did want to have a specific background color you can go here you can change it for most people i think they're okay with the default but maybe you're creative and maybe you want to do it on your own you can see a hex code for the widget background so if you have a certain hex code that works for your own that is similar to another color pattern that you already have you can use that uh, and it will be easier to do. This is a little bit more complex. Normally you have some software that can tell you what that hex code is, uh, but if it's just a general color, you can find that and click it on there. Text color, the exact same thing. Okay, next up, font size. This one, instead of stretching it in OBS, which normally degrades the quality, you would want to adjust the font size here. You can add this into OBS, which we'll get into in just a moment, and then you can come here and change the text size so that it's more to your liking as opposed to stretching the text, which can sometimes make it look worse than it needs to be. So always remember you can come back here to adjust the font size. All right, now here's a big one for whether you're a big streamer or a small streamer. If you're a smaller streamer, having the same bit of text on your screen indefinitely when the chat's not really moving can sometimes appear a little bit off so if you are a bigger streamer there's normally going to be a flood of text that will just push off all the old messages and it doesn't really matter so depending on where you're at this setting might look very different hide messages after so this is if somebody types it in it will appear and if the text isn't moving if the chat isn't moving it will stay there indefinitely so if you don't want it there indefinitely just uncheck this to always show messages because after a while they'll disappear or they can stay forever. Now here's where you can adjust that slider. Now if you're a smaller streamer, again, having that text up permanently might look like the chat's just not moving and it could throw people off a little bit. Maybe you want it to have it there so it looks busy. It's really up to you, but you can have it to where the text disappears 
after 30 seconds and you can drag the slider to whichever you're comfortable with. If maybe you have 10 to 15 viewers and text is moving at a somewhat okay pace and people are chatting, then you might wanna adjust this. If not, you can just always show messages and it will always stay on the screen. But depending on your comfort level and what you feel looks the most normal, it might be different for most people, you can adjust the slider here. So I'll let you choose whichever you want, but just understand that's what that's for. Chat delay, very rarely do you have chat delay, but hey, you know what, that's up to you. And also hide chatters. Now here's the thing that you can customize a little bit, hide common chat bots. This is one that a lot of people normally have on. If you're displaying the text, you normally want it to be more things that are just pretty standard. Chatbots such as Nightbot and other things they're gonna be putting commands in or something that comes in every so often might just look kind of cluttered and add some stuff there that doesn't really need to be there. And then having that to where it's more of a unique user experience for the people watching you, it can just be their text. Same for commands. Maybe you have the sensitivity settings. Maybe you have a command for your social media. And using those exclamation points to return that command can sometimes also throw some extra messages in there that don't necessarily need to be there. So you can choose to hide this or to keep it on. It's up to you. It's really all about your preference. As far as muted chatters and custom bad words go, uh, I'm assuming muted chatters are most people that you have muted no matter what or custom bad words. There's stuff built into Twitch to make sure that those words don't get through to begin with. But if you need to, add them here, blacklist them, and do what you need to do. Now, if you're more of the tech savvy type, the enable custom HTML and CSS is an option available. I don't want to get into that. For me personally, there's only a handful of things I've actually used this for, for some other projects that I have. But for most people, they're not going to worry too much about the customization in terms of HTML, CSS. But if you do have that skill set, then this might be something to kind of take your stream to the next level. Or you can work with somebody and hire somebody that is capable and can steer you in the right direction. All right, now here's the time. It's time to set it up. Up at the top, it says click to show widget URL. Since this is unique to me, I'm not gonna worry about showing this to you. You can just hit copy and that way it'll copy to your clipboard. And now let's go to OBS. Okay, so as it is with everything else, it, this is a browser source. So what you can do once you're in OBS, you can hit the plus sign down at the bottom, you can click on browser, and now you can put chat overlay or whatever it is you wanna call it. You're gonna hit okay, and right here, that URL that you just copied, you're going to paste it in this URL section right here, and this way, now you're going to be able to have that chat pulled over. We'll show the case this in just a second, but as far as a few more things go, for me, on another overlay that I have, I actually have a customized width and height because it's more of a narrow box. So you can adjust this. This does require some tweaking for you to do. So however you want that text to display, a lot of people tend to have a slimmer margin. So they'll have it more just maybe a 700, maybe a 400, depending on how narrow. We'll set it up to 700 height, 400 width, and we'll show you in just a second. I mentioned before, you might wanna make sure you adjust the font size in Streamlabs, that way you don't have to stretch this out by any means. There's some custom stuff you can do here, but we'll go ahead, I'll put the URL in, and then I'll show you how some of this works. So let's check it out. Okay, so you can see I now have more of a long, slender chat box, but I need to be able to type some stuff in and see if this really works. So we're just gonna go over to the text chat. We're gonna copy some paste in, and this is what some regular text would look like. And as you can see, this is more with that grayed out, boxed out background mode that I was alluding to before. If you're looking for more transparent, you can set that up as well to make sure that you do have that transparency in your text. Some people like the boxed areas, some people don't. So I went ahead and switched it to Twitch chat and now we've got it. And here you can see what it looks like with just that custom, that clear background. So whether you like the boxed, whether you like the Twitch loadout, this is what it can look like. As you can see, there's the different badges that show up, whether it's the gifted badges, the sub badges, all of those different things. You can customize those within there. And you can see as things go on, we can continue to put some text in and that can all go back to your overlay in terms of the width. As you can see, this looks a little bit cluttered. Maybe it's not wide enough. And as I mentioned, I don't always wanna stretch this. I would rather just get the, the text to the size that I want and adjust the width and the height 
in OBS. So we adjusted the width a little bit, we went through, it reset everything, and now we can just add some text, and this is what it looks like, and that's how you set up your Twitch chat box in OBS. So that's it, that's how you set up your Twitch chat to display on your screen. If you have some type of overlay with a Twitch chat box on it, maybe that can look a little bit better. Maybe you just want it to appear over the gameplay so that it's interactive. Some people like to have it up there so that if they're on some type of delay, they can make sure that when the text chat comes up, that way you can see when the broadcaster is responding to it. There's all kinds of different ways why you would want it or why you don't want it, so I'll leave it up to you. So good luck out there. Here's how you set it all up. If you like the video, feel free to hit that like button below or leave a comment below letting me know if there was something that I could have done better and whether there's some more content you'd like to see. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel as that goes a long way to help out in the future as well as for other tech tips that will be coming in the future. Thank you all so much for watching. Till next time.